in this video, we're going to give you a tour of the Newmar Baystar Sport. So if you're looking for a Class A that's under 30 feet, we might have found the right rig for you. Welcome to the channel. I'm Paul. This is Liz. These are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you'll definitely live amazing in this Class A Baystar Sport. It is just an incredible RV. If you're thinking of buying your first RV, this might be the one because it's nimble and it just is laid out really well for a first timer. If you've never driven an RV before, especially a Class A, this one's under 30 feet, so it isn't real intimidating. And I just wanna say, you can start living the RV life at any price point. My first RV was a truck camper. It was like $1,100. I think the key is just to get out there and start doing it. The 2020 Baystar model 2702 is 27 feet 11 inches long. This is one of the shortest Class A's you'll find with full body paint. The advantage of having a gas powered Class A versus a diesel is that you get a back window. Unloaded vehicle weight is 15,510 pounds. The Baystar tanks are 80 gallons gas, 75 gallons fresh water, 60 gallon gray, and 40 gallon black. The Clever Floor Plan features lots of windows and several seating options as well as decent storage. We are showing the Calypso Maple Glaze cabinetry and they all have hidden hinges with soft closed drawers. Nice touch that the fridge matches the cabinets. This is an eight cubic foot fridge and this is plenty for soloing. This is what I soloed with. And if you're a minimalist, you probably could also, uh, this would be fine for a couple. And you even get an ice maker, so you are not roughing it at all. So now let's look at the kitchen. So you do have solid surface countertops. Again, you have the hidden hinge cabinets. You do have the counter extension, which really helps a lot. A nice stainless steel sink. Yeah, look how deep that is. So you actually could be using one half of the sink and then using the rest for counter space. Three burner stove with an oven. So a lot of entry level campers do not have an oven. You also have a microwave. Just a little microwave, but good enough to reheat your coffee. And there's even more storage up here. Cabinets, pretty open. And there's a vent fan up ahead. You got a little bit of storage under the sink, great place to put your cleaning products and your dish soap. The drawers are soft clothes. There's definitely some good quality here. See, it'll just close by itself. Ta-da! There is a vinyl floor. It actually looks like vinyl plank, but it's regular vinyl and it's good quality. It's really great to have a couch here. It's great for relaxing. Uh, the couch uh, folds into a bed. You've got storage here. And it's all the way through, so you can put some big items here. Now here, the booth also goes into a bed. And you've got a little bit of storage under here. Look at the quality of these drawers. This is all wood in here too. The table will come down and this will make a bed here. I do like the crank windows like this. Um, it's great for rainy days to get some air in. Look how wide these open. These are great. Pleated string shades are, you know, not the favorite thing. These are adequate. They can tend to get beat up and all, but I think it's totally fine for this camper. They're, it's a nice little balance that comes with them. Look at that big window. So the bed has a little bit of a slide, gives you some space uh, there. Look at the accent lights across the top. Under the bed storage, this is, when you turn the dinette into a bed, here's the padding. 
So you got some storage here for extra clothes, shoes, that kind of thing. TV, wardrobe. The wardrobe is really nice and big. If you're gone for, you know, a long weekend or even weeks, there is plenty of room in here. Plus there's more cabinets under here. Oh, these are drawers. Look how nice these are. Again, beautiful drawers. More here. Wow, this one goes way back because this, as you can see, uh, got a little tier. So these, yeah, the top, the ones above are a little shallow, but they yeah, but they're get fine. quite look, a bit. Look at it, and they go all the way out, so it's so easy to organize your stuff. This is wired for your DVD player, Blu-ray, that kind of thing. One of my early RVs was just this bifold fabric, so this is great to have this. And it automatically locks, so you just push down. and a vanity. Not a ton of space, but remember the bedroom has a lot of space. So you could put overflow stuff like towels. Towels would probably have to go in one of those drawers in the bedroom. Yeah, there is no room for towels in here. Right, unless you got a rack or something. This is clever design right here. So, the way the doors open, it really maximizes the space. an interesting place to put the fuse box in the bathroom so um yeah, in do a we... wet environment I'm yeah i'm not sure about that yeah so we're <laughs> coming from the so coming Paul's from the technical a... side <laughs> Paul's that... giving a thumbs down on having all this stuff in a wet environment and that's a good point uh for those of you that are new to rving it's pretty much standard practice that when you take a shower you turn the vent fan on you do not want yeah. to have a condensation here it would up. be critical to do yeah. that air conditioning is way yeah, where is the roof air? Huh. Yeah. So we are so used to touring RVs and seeing the great big box of the roof air conditioning. So this camper does not have that, which is really awesome. You can see that it is ducted air, which is really, really nice for a camper this size. It's and you do have a thermostat. So located conveniently over the steps is your control panel and you have your lights, awning, and slides, as well as your step controls right here. So it's great that these chairs turn around. This is the coolest thing. So when you're going down the road, this is your console for your drink, but when you're stopped, this rises up into a table. six-way electric driver's seat. There is a workstation for the passenger. You can be doing this down the road. You have your computer out. Um, it's just great cup holder. With the slides closed, everything is usable and you can still get back to the bathroom. The bed is still accessible, but of course you cannot get to the drawers. You can get to the closet. Now these do open up when the slides are out. You can see that it's right below the slide, but these do open fully with the slide out. But you will have to duck in to get to them. Same thing with this door. They, they fully open with the slide extended. So this, this hatch is for your um, propane tank. This is your uh, waste dump. There's your water ray. Thirty amp power wired with a surge protector. There's your generator. One concern we have with the Bay Star Sport is that you only get 2,490 pounds for cargo. This includes passengers, food, water, propane, and all your belongings. 
This could be challenging for many campers. Let us know in the comments what you think of this rig. Would it make your short list? If you like this video, you'll love the next one. See you in the next video.